Well, those numbers from the health department clearly indicate we're now seeing a coronavirus surge, and that's gotten the attention of our local and state leaders. And the question now is whether that will trigger any new or tighter restrictions. Here's our Greg Chandler. Judge Barbara Canales is concerned about Nueces County's recent spike in cases. However, she believes it's not too late to turn the trend around. Coronavirus numbers are spiking in Nueces County. Between last Monday and Friday, the county reported 47 new cases, the most of any week not associated with the STX beef cluster. In that scenario, we knew those 100 cases were directly or indirectly, right? Family members or workers were responsible from one spot. This is different because this is everywhere. On Monday, 24 more cases, though those were from three days of testing. The numbers tell us that it is impacting us and that we need to change our personal direction. And I think we can. Everyone now knows how to make safe decisions to prevent contracting COVID-19 and to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Each phase of Governor Greg Abbott's reopening plan has been followed by a surge in cases. However, Canales believes it was important to get the economy on the road to recovery. Having our community so in need and dependent upon getting small business back on their feet, we had to reopen. We're going to have to figure out how to live with this. For now, living with COVID-19 means staying at home when possible, social distancing, hand washing, and wearing a mask. If you wear the mask, if you sanitize your hands, if you maintain your distance when you go shopping, you're going to be doing the types of things that will ensure you do not get COVID and that you will not be spreading COVID. It's such a small all small effort to protect so many. Canales understands people are quarantine fatigued, but says if they don't do their part now, we face many more months of the pandemic affecting us. In Corpus Christi, Greg Chandler, Chris Six News.